scandalous pool party. She gonna get pregnant. Now should I murder people? No, not my children. Squatch, squatch, squatch. Bye, Grandma. Whoa, oh my God. Oh my god, some new limited edition merch just dropped. We have new super comfortable yoga sets in both black and pink, as well as two new zip-up hoodies in both black and white, and everything glows in the dark. So make sure to click on my link in the description below to check them out. They are limited edition, so make sure to get them before they're gone. Oh yes, that's right. We're back playing some more Bits Life, but this time we're gonna add another layer to it. So first I had the idea to try and live an IRL Bit Life, as in and I would have to do whatever bit life tells me. But then I realized, hmm, I don't have the ability to turn back time and become a child again. And I also don't have the ability to produce children at a moment's notice. And you know, at the end of the video, I don't want to actually have to die. So I was trying to think, who else has the ability to do all of those things who could mimic my bit life? And of course I was like, ah, the Sims! So yes, today a bit life is going to be controlling my Sim. Because bit life usually takes forever to play, I'm just gonna, you know, skip around to the most important parts and or the parts that my Sim can actually do in the game. And we're gonna see what kind of life we're able to lead. So unlike my last two playthroughs, I'm going to actually create myself. Lauren Z-Side, female, United States, New York. Begin life. All right, let's read my beginnings. I was born a female in New York, US. This is true. I was conceived after my mother attended a scandalous pool party. What? <laughs> Okay, my name is Lauren Seaside. My father is Joshua Seaside, a retired receptionist, age 68. Oh God, oh my dad, my dad is, is old. <laughs> and my mother is Lanika Wheeler, a restaurant worker, age 20. Wow, that is a big age difference. All right, so I'm happy, I'm healthy, I am very stupid, <laughs> not very smart, and I'm all right on looks, okay. Overall, not too bad. And this, I guess, is what my parents look like. Joshua is uh, a yellow old man. All right, well, this is my total bit life. So we're gonna have to go from conception all the way until I die. So yeah, let's see how I was conceived. Uh... <laughs> All right, as you can see, this is Lanika Wheeler, looking super cute. And then over here, we have uh, Joshua Zside, the yellow old man, who is dressing in a way to try to track younger women, I guess. I mean, in this scenario, it works out. And this is just a basic starter home I got from the gallery, and I added a pool, because we are about to have that scandalous pool party. Got some music going. Oh, he's trying to show off his bartending skills. Oh, look at these good-looking ladies. He's being scandalous. Oh, I'm being a little scandalous. Not really. I'm just putting on a bathing suit, but we're gonna say it's scandalous. By the way, it looks like Lanika just invited a bunch of her friends that are around her age, and this random old yellow man just showed up, and thus he is the one that I desire. Oh, he's getting a drink. Oh, he's coming to sit. Scandalous pool party. She gonna get pregnant. Why don't we go to the hot tub? Kissing. Oh, God. Oh, she gonna get pregnant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nobody notices. Scandalous. Oh, I'm pregnant. All right, it's time to have baby. There's cool guy old man Joshua and who's leaving me. Great. What a guy. Here comes Lauren. Yay, it's a boy. Uh, we'll fix that later. Yay. Our bit life sim has begun. All right, let's see what happens while I'm a baby. I'm one, not much. Two, three, four, five, six. I started elementary school. Okay, so I've gone from baby to toddler. Now I'm a child. And now here's me as a toddler. But it doesn't really matter because we're just gonna age up to a child. And here I am as a child. All right, so I'm not very smart. I'm just gonna study harder and keep aging up. Seven, eight. Oh God, age up, age up. Your father passed away. No! He died of natural causes. Well, yeah, he was almost 80. Attend his funeral. Oh, I'm now 10 years old. I'm still studying. And uh, today my dad dies. Where is he? All right, natural causes. Soul steal. Let's see what that's like. Oh, God. Natural causes. He's, oh, he just, oh, God. 
Oh, he died of natural causes. What is happening? This is terrifying. This is not what I wanted. Is it a seizure? Please take him away. He's making noise. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Uh, 10 is the worst age ever. Oh God, it's over. Okay. My goodness. Oh no, my happiness is depleted. Let's spend time with my mom and uh, go to the movies. All right, well, I guess it's just me and my mom now. We're gonna spend time together, see? And we're gonna go to the movies. It's gonna be great. All right, age up, age up, age up, age up. Ooh, I'm officially like a teenager now. All right, now it's time to go from child to teenager. And now I'm a teenager. Ooh, and because we're officially a teenager, we can find a date. But first, let's see what our sexuality is. You are feeling strong heterosexual tendencies. Well then, I'm straight. Yeah, let's find a date. Ooh, DeAndre asked me out. Yeah, let's start dating. Have a conversation with our boyfriend. We're gonna be together forever, even though I'm 14. All right, this is DeAndre Romo. Look how dreamy he is. And we are on a date, cause you know, we're gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend. Aw, teen romance. Ooh, we're on our date. Oh my god, he's ordering for me. That's adorable. Ooh, look how romantic our meals are. That is not romantic. Ooh. Oh my gosh, our first kiss. BitLife didn't really give me a first kiss, so we're just gonna say that DeAndre was my first kiss. Asked to be girlfriend. Oh my god, yay. Teen love. We're gonna be together forever. And age up. <gasps> no! DeAndre, why? We were supposed to be together forever. Insult him one last time. Oh my god, he's breaking up with me. He's breaking up with me! No, I thought we were gonna be together forever! That didn't last long at all! Why is that lady not wearing any pants? You're the worst! Insult him! Insult him, girl! And then we going home! Going home! We're better than you! Whatever, we don't need boys. Let's age up. But I do want to find a boyfriend. Hmm, Jalen Rivera. He's really good looking. Let's ask him out. He rejected me. No! Jalen, why? I'm moderately good looking. All right, let's age up. Find a date. Hmm, Ross Felt. He's super crazy. Let's ask him out. He rejected me. I am not having luck with boys. Age up. I graduated. Yay! I am now a young adult. All right, so we're aging up now from a teen to a young adult. <laughs> not much has changed. <laughs> Except my boots nice, got bigger. Dude. And now I can find a job. Probably shouldn't go to school because A, there's no university in The Sims. And B, I'm not very smart. So let's just go straight to jobs. All right, so I need a job that doesn't need college. And the one that pays the most that I think I could do in The Sims without a college degree is to be a farmer. Yes! All right, so our Sim's gonna have to start growing crops on her uh, plot and then trying to sell them for money. I guess Gardner is closest to a farmer. All right, here's my at-home garden slash farm. I got a little scarecrow, got some sprinkles which I don't know if they actually work or not. So I think I just take these and then put them here. I've never actually farmed before in The Sims. Okay, I think I planted things. Yay, for being a farmer. Ooh, this guy's got a lot of money. Jeff Dickinson, sure. Yay, meet Jeff Dickinson. Isn't he dreamy? We're going on a date, but I can tell I'm gonna marry him. Ooh, we're sitting out here by the fire. How romantic. Oh my God, making moves. Oh, how cute. Oh, it's their first kiss. Yay, they're now officially a couple. All right, moving on with our lives. All right, now let's just see how our life plays out a little bit. Age. Oh, my boyfriend wants to take me to a movie. Yes. Age up. I'm pregnant! I mean, I guess I'll keep the baby. I'm 21. I bet you I got pregnant at the movies! We went and saw Nicholas Sparks in the notebook. I just couldn't control myself afterwards. I will keep the baby. I'm pregnant with Jeff's baby, and I'm keeping it. Oh. Oh! They must have just saw the movie The Notebook. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, what you guys do in there? I'm pregnant! Or bit life me is pregnant. It's like, Jeff, I'm pregnant. But you know, don't be in a rush to propose to me or anything, even though I want you to. Jeff. Age up. Oh my god, I had a son. And I'm just always gonna go with the random generated name. So Chris. So I should be going into labor any second now. And also, I learned how to properly plan all of the food. I literally just placed food on top of things. You guys must have been yelling at me. But I planted them, and they're all growing. And you know, life is great. Except that this baby won't get out of me. That farming life, yo. Super pregnant and still being the best farmer there ever was. 
Come on, baby. Get out of me. Oh my god, got into labor. Jeff's freaking out. Here we go. Wow, it's the same doctor that delivered me as a baby. She hasn't aged at all. It's a boy. Perfect. And that, of course, is Chris. Chris Dickinson. Yay. There he is. How cute. Oh, Jeff is running away from his responsibilities. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. You know, still haven't been proposed to, Jeff. I just had your baby. I want to see if he does it on his own. Age up. I'm pregnant again! Jeff! Oh! Jeff! Jeff, you better you better be proposing to me soon. I'll keep the baby. All right, age up. Lily! Oh, we had a girl. Lily, save. Lily Dickinson. As you can see, time has passed. Chris is now a toddler and is pissed because I got pregnant again and had another baby. <laughs> I just added in this baby because pregnancy is taking way too long in The Sims. But yeah, I got pregnant again. Here's our new baby. Our other baby is pissed about it. All right, are, are you going to propose next year? Your boyfriend Jeff asks you to go out for a lies after work. Let's go, bae. <laughs> no way, bae. What is a, like, is that a wine? Sure, let's go. That sounds romantic. <laughs> I was about to say, you better not be getting pregnant again. All right, so apparently Jeff wants to take me out for an Alizé. I don't know why, but we're going to set this up as the place that, uh, you know, we get engaged. Wow, what a great day. I'm excited for these drinks. Thank you, sweetheart. We're really into this Alizé. If you don't propose to me when I age up next, Jeff, we're having some words. I got hay fever. Great. Still not engaged, though. Oh, I can propose? He's 32. He still has it. Mm. Pose marriage. He said yes. Great. All right, well, let's plan the wedding. Let's do a restaurant and go to France for our honeymoon. I'm not signing a prenup. Are you kidding me? He's got way more money than me. I should actually divorce Jeff and take his money. Oh, should I change my last name? This must be new updates. Keep Z-Side. Oh, yes, we're gonna hold them while we propose. Oh, darn it. Lauren is proposing to Jeff because Jeff wouldn't get off his butt and propose to me, even though I had two of his children. It's fine. It's a new age. Girls can propose now. Look at us holding our Alizé. Yes. Our wedding guest list is really weird. Our son, my mom, who looks like she has chicken pox, the doctor that delivered me and my babies, my ex-boyfriend from high school, who's still a teenager, apparently, these two random bartenders, and this lady. Great. We're gonna have it at a restaurant, of course. I look like the girl from Frozen. Oh, hey, ex-boyfriend. Are you pissed because I'm getting married to somebody else? Yeah. That's right. Here's the random wedding arch right in front of this fish tank. Let us get married. Everybody get in here. Why is there a naked man outside? Who is this? Why is this happening? Oh, good. He put clothes on. There we go. Oh my God. We're getting married. Is anybody watching? Oh, great. <laughs> great. We have a great guest list here. Everybody's outside. My ex-boyfriend is pissed. Oh my God. Yay. It's like a fairy tale. Yes. We're married. Why are you shocked? Because this is the only person that attended your wedding? I understand. All right, age up. Let's age up. Age up. You are concerned because your best friend, I don't know how to say that name, Andre? Use of drugs is spiraling out of control. What will you do? Uh, stage an intervention and be a good friend. It was successful. She is no longer addicted to drugs. Yay, the power of friendship. As you can see, some time has passed. Here's Lily, our daughter, and Chris, our son, got a haircut and grew up. And remember that random girl that was at our wedding, like the only guest at our wedding? That's my best friend and Andre. Andre. And we're gonna invite her over because we need to stage an intervention. She has a drug problem. Apparently, I have a drug problem as well. What is happening with my face? Let's go out back where it's quieter. Hug. Okay, intervention has begun. Here is a pamphlet um that will help you get through this drug addiction. I know, look, magic, yay. Here's one last hug. I love you. Okay, and here's all the information in my phone. My phone is also purple, because I'm adorable and I match everything. Yay, intervention was successful. She is no longer drug addicted. That is how quick and easy it is. Of course, that's a joke. There she goes. Be well, my friend. Get better. We're rooting for you. Age up. Pregnant? Keep the baby. I'm now 31, too. Age up. We had a son named Manuel. As you can see, I had another baby. Time has passed. I am now an adult, not just a young adult. I have a baby. My daughter is now a kid. My son is still a kid. Things are just moving right along. Age up. Oh, I got to raise. Age up. Age up. Age up. Nothing's really happening in my life, except that my kids are getting older. Age up. Come on, guys. Do something interesting. I'm 40 now, and nothing interesting has happened. Age up. Age up. Your husband, Jeff, is nagging you to buy a house for the family. Well, Jeff, you're the one making like a million dollars. Why am I the one buying a house for our family? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna argue with him. You ridiculed your husband, Jeff. That's right. 
but fine. Whatever. Let's see what houses we got. Well, this is the only one with three bedrooms, so let's go with the wooded cabin. Buy it in cash. We got that money. All right, because Jeff's been nagging me. Here is our new wood cabin. It actually is pretty cool. No thanks to you, Jeff. I used my own money, Jeff. We all look very dazed and confused. <laughs> oh God, why does everybody look so weird? Did they just realize that I'm controlling them? Oh my God, conspiracies. Also, yes, time has passed once again. My daughter's a teenager. My son is a teenager and my other son is a child. Age up. I'm pregnant? At 44? Oh my god. I can't get rid of the baby. That's terrible. I guess we're having a fourth kid. Keep the baby. Age up. It's a son, Jasper. Oh, and would you look at that? Jeff was so happy I bought him a house that I got pregnant again. This is Jasper, my new bundle of joy. I am now 44 and still having babies. This is me looking at my hands and wondering what happened with my life. Let's go do something fun with our lives. Come on. Let's go clubbing. Oh yeah. Everybody's clubbing. Best night ever. Definitely not too old. Still living it up with Jeff. That wasn't as uh, exciting as I had thought. I guess age up. Age up. I'm pregnant again? Oh my god, no. It's happening all over the- <laughs> The baby, I'm 47! How am I still having children? Jeff, why do you keep doing this to me? Age up. It's a girl. Thalia. All right, I am now 47 and I had another baby. Please make it stop. My two oldest are moved out. I got rid of two of them, but now I have this new one and two boys, a teenager, Manuel, and uh, I forget the other one's name. I'm the best mom ever. Jasper, yes, Jasper is a kid now. And now we got Thalia. 50. Keep aging up. I'm not even caring about my kids having kids because that is just too much. It's only my life. Oh no, my mom died. No. I did get inheritance though. <laughs> Attend funeral. So grandma dies of a disease. We don't have a disease. So why don't we make up one called, but well, actually it's rare, but real spontaneous combustion disease. Bye grandma. Oh my God. Oh, grandma. Oh, right in front of your, your grandchildren. Grandma, why? Oh, why did that terrible disease take her? This is us paying respects at her funeral, by the way. Oh, grandma. Goodbye, grandma. Age up. We've been married for 30 years. Let's renew our wedding vows. Husband, please don't get me pregnant. Age up. You saw someone call your husband Jeff a man whore. Assault them. You assaulted him. Ooh. Tore that person up. Don't mess with my man! Alright, so some more time has passed. Our one son, Manuel, moved out. We only got two kids left in the house. And oh my god, this bitch! I think I just heard her call my man a man whore. How dare you? I'm about to assault the crap out of you. Ain't nobody call my man a man whore. Snatch weave! Look how pissed I am. Yeah, that's right, girl! Weave has been snatched! Age up, age up. Oh no, my friend that I helped get off drugs! She went back to drugs. Offer her your support. She thanked you for the unconditional support, my best friend. Andre. 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 I don't know how to say it. Some more time has passed and we are now both elders. Jeff is retired. I've pretty much stopped farming from the second we moved. Jeff, you aged well. Oh no, Andre is here and crying. I'm kind of pissed at her though, because she looks real good for being an elder. She's like, how dare you do this to yourself and me and, oh, get out of my house. Go away. Just get out of here. I'm 60 now. Your husband Jeff is nagging you to buy a car for the family. Argue with him. Jeff, you have your own goddamn money. Get your own goddamn car! Shut your mouth, Jeff! We don't need a car, Jeff. Sims don't have cars! Keep aging up, age up, age up, age up. Oh my god, my, my husband died?! No! He was killed in an earthquake. But at least I don't have to worry about getting pregnant again. <laughs> All right, some more time has passed. We're down to the last child being in our house, wherever the heck she is. But now Jeff must die in an earthquake. Because there are no earthquakes in Sims 4, we have to get a little creative. Jeff, what are you doing standing in the middle of the road? Oh, no, Jeff! The car wasn't even driving on the actual road. It drove, like, from one house to another house. Oh, there it is. There's the car. Jeff, no! No! What a terrible earthquake accident! What happened to his hand? You're standing right on him. Your own daughter. No! What happened to Jeff? What happened to him? We're all just standing on him. Wow. Poor Jeff. Jeff, no, why? Alright, now should I murder people? Will that make me happy? Murder someone. Hmm. No, 
not my children. A random or my drug addicted friend that has caused me nothing but turmoil trying to help her. I tried to help her once and then she, 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 she backslid and used drugs again after all that I put myself through helping her. Electrocution. Yeah, I need some exciting stuff to happen. I'm sorry, and Andre. Andre. I just can't say your name, Andre. 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 Commit the murder. Uh oh. Wait. You tried to electrocute your best friend by throwing a toaster into her bath. Ow! Ooh, she smacked your stomach. She impaled your knee. Okay. Well, at least I didn't go to jail. Andre is taking a bath. Now is my chance to murder. Yes. Yes, murder, to make me feel better about Jeff's death. Oh no! Oh god, she caught me! Ah! Oh, oh man, I failed at killing her! Oh my god, she's assaulting me! Look at this! I will get you someday, Audrey! Ooh, somebody asked me on a date? Oh, it's a youngin. I mean, 62 is young when you're... How old am I? 70? 70 70-something? I'll start dating him. Dick Owens. What a dreamboat. Oh no, I'm 66. Oh, I guess he's not that much younger. He looks younger compared to my picture up there. At least it makes me happier. Meet Dick Owens, my new boyfriend. <laughs> He's a cool guy. Note the leather jacket and his cool hair. All right, age up, age up, age up. My son died? He died while choking on an olive. Oh, God. My life's falling apart. Attend his funeral. <gasps> and my granddaughter died. She died after driving off a cliff while texting and driving. She was six years old. She was driving and texting. Two things that I don't really think a six-year-old does, but okay. Oh no, and here's Jasper looking sad because he's about to die while choking on an olive. Ah! Oh my God, that olive killed him. Did you guys see that? It was an olive. My son, Jasper, no, he was so good looking. He was the most good looking one. He looks like a mannequin model. <laughs> no, not Jasper. This is the work of Andre. Andre. I knew it. She's bitter about me trying to murder her. We must do it again. 70. Oh, no, I'm depressed. Crap. I mean, I don't blame you, Lauren. I know what'll make you feel better. Murder. All right, electrocution didn't work. What about a drive-by? Oh, no, it said foils. Why can I never murder somebody? Also, why did I pick drive-by? I don't own a car, and you can't drive in The Sims. Oh, good. I could try again. <laughs> murder. Yeah, we're just gonna try electrocution again. <gasps> I did it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh god. <laughs> what do I do now? Andre was probably like, what are you doing with that toaster again? Oh no. We meet again, Andre. <laughs> Prepare to die. Ooh, electrocuted the bathtub. Wait, did it not do anything? Really? Let's try it again. Oh good. There we go. Are you are you oh god, is she uh, uh, alive? No, I don't uh god, I don't know what's happening. She's still freaking alive. Are you kidding me? Is she really? Yes! Come on! Tornado spins? I mean, what the heck is gonna kill this girl? There we go. Oh, okay. Oh my god, look, she's being electrocuted in the bathtub. I had nothing to do with it. What is happening? She's still freaking alive? That's it. Body slam. I don't know what that is, but it better work. <laughs> Oh, that was it. Well, look, she's still, uh, she's still sparking. Yeah, see, see the sparks? We electrocuted her. That's what happened. Or I electrocuted her, not we. Oh, I got busted. You've been charged with murder and are facing 50 years in prison. Oops. Uh, get me the most expensive lawyer. See if they can get me off saying it was an accident. Yeah, the most expensive ones. Oh, no! Money can't buy you freedom! <laughs> you have been convicted of murder and sentenced to 50 years in prison. And I've been fired from my farming job. Well, that's fair. I had dark thoughts. I had dark thoughts. <laughs> I'm just looking at my list of things that happened when I was 70. I had dark thoughts. I electrocuted my best friend. I was charged with murder. I mean, 70 was a bad year. Age up. Dick and I have been together for five years. Wow, we're still together. Dick, you're my soulmate. Start a riot. Attempt to escape. Attempt to escape. Oh God, what is this? Hmm, this is interesting. Let's go this way. Oh God, oh God. Damn it. Ah, oh, well. But two more years. Age up. Oh, no, Dick. I was just saying such good things about you. He fears you'll be gay for the stay while you're in the clink. What do you do? Maybe I will get a girlfriend in jail. Bye. Uh, so yeah, I'm in jail now. <laughs> Let's play out the last couple years in jail and see what happens. Probably not much I can actually do in The Sims. Age up. Age up. I feel like I'm just gonna die in jail. Age up. Age up. Oh, God, I died. I died suffering a stroke. My net worth was really good, though. All right, well. 
guess that's it, Lauren. I guess your days are numbered. You die from a stroke. But being that there are no strokes in The Sims, let's see what we can do instead. I mean, you did technically murder somebody. Let's see what that does. Whoa! Okay. Oh, she's gone. She's completely gone. Oh, well, there's her urn. And uh, I guess that's where we'll end uh, on for the Sims part. That was that was definitely a stroke. That was definitely a stroke. She did not get sucked to hell by demons for killing somebody. That's not what happened. Scandalous. <laughs> wow, my award was for scandalous. Lauren Zside passed away in prison at the age of 77. Her four children and her six grandchildren couldn't be bothered to ascend her services. Wow. You're not getting any of my million dollar net worth. All right, children. A troublesome lady, Lauren got a job as a farmer and was a faithful servant to Rabbit's Foot Orchard, working there for 52 years. Friends were left speechless when they learned that she tried to murder her friend, Andre. Tried to murder her. Don't think you're giving me enough credit, game. Well, I guess after all, I had a pretty, uh, pretty interesting life. And thus, so did my sim. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for Bit Life Controls My Sim. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, if you made it this far in the video, then make sure to leave a like before you go. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have new merch on sale. So make sure to click the description to check it out. I'm currently wearing it, but it's got an even cooler design on the back that you should go check out. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other challenges or ways I can make Bit Life more interesting for future playthroughs and to shake things up a little bit. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos almost every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon.